Yeah, I think it's quite cool to own a flying car. Not really. I think that would be cool, but really hard to actually uh, pull off. Really? Why? Because gravity. I've never really thought about it. The dream to fly and drive with one vehicle is more than 100 years old. But the technologies weren't there. So we started to work on that and found the right technologies to build it. If you take an airplane, you have a high center of gravity. The high center of gravity is not stable on the road. And we actually have the technology worldwide exclusive to make it freely stable on the road and fly. The PEL-V is a gyrocopter in the air and a three-wheel road vehicle on the road, so you can both drive it and fly it. We require a normal car drive license, and in the air you need a gyrocopter license. But gyrocopter is stable all the time unless you do something, so that makes gyrocopter flying very easy. We will launch this styling in the beginning of next year, and also from then on people in other countries can reserve their PEL-V in their country. Avoid traffic jam. Travel in speed. Uh, to go to a different country maybe. Fly to school so I don't have to take the train anymore. I'll just go around and show pe people off. I have like this. The idea of Airmobile started 25 years ago in the garage of Mr. Stefan Klein, who is always out about the design of the flying car as a very interesting engineering and design challenge. Airmobile 3.0 currently features two leather seats, it has autopilot, and we have patented combined steering wheel with the flight yoke, so you don't need to do any movements that are unfamiliar to you. It takes only two minutes to transform the vehicle and we see it as a key feature of the Airmobile. The flying car can really you know, solve the tra traffic problems. Very likely possible with technology advancement and research being done. We've been brainwashed of having flying cars since we were kids, so yeah, I, we expect that. I don't see that because flying always takes more energy than road transportation. So as long as you can go over roads, you never know, maybe in 100 years. We see this as a complementary transportation mode, really interesting experience and we think that in the future there is some space for this type of object or vehicle.